How? I see what's going on here. Thirty years of Tekken. That's right, great thirty years. <laughs> Duh, duh. I mean, for what I've seen so far, I was expecting like a lot more like gameplay, showing like showing he has returned. I thought it'd be like really like the dragon nest. They're hanging by their toes. Yeah, they are manly men. Ugh. Did you find your mind? Sobre os monges Tekken, eliminando os restos da Mishima Zaibatsu. Ah! Ah! Hmm. I know Kung Fu. Very narrative heavy trail. There's lots of narrative going on here. All how much narrative? All the narrative. <laughs> I guess you gotta go into like the president of Poland's family history. But that's what it seems like. The ending of the game. Main storyline stuff. I haven't played with Eddie at all yet, so I did a little break from the Tekken actor for a while. I need to get we're, we're gonna go back probably, probably after uh, a little bit. Burn Bertino, just like oh, I can't die. <laughs> you know why I can't die? Plot armor. <laughs> I get a little flashback of his history real quick. Like, huh. He seems like a little younger, the character darker in this lighting. He's just unkillable. <laughs> he has so much plot armor. Why does he have so much? It's just, it's just too much plot armor. It's too much plot armor, I'm sorry. He has too much, uh, he, he has too much, I'm here with I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm okay with the idea that he's back. I, I, I just think that, I, I feel like it kind of happened too soon. Like, if you would have waited at least another, like, at least one full game, brought him back, okay, cool, some time has passed. But you bring him back right after Tekken 7, which I get it, he's a popular character, a lot of people are happy he's back, and I'm glad he's back for he that remains of him that really wanted his character to come back, okay? Not bad in the character at all. I will I will say that I kind of wish that would have waited a little bit longer. Maybe maybe if you're going to have him in Tekken 8, maybe make him later on. This is like Season 1's uh, DLC past character. Maybe do Season 3. You know, give it give it, give it it some more time with the story to develop without him before you bring him in, you know? So I, I feel like the game just can't escape the main cast. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they gotta keep bringing them in all the time, you know. Like they, they can't. I, I like to have a period where other characters can kind of shine, have their story kind of develop a little bit. Then you can bring him. Then you can bring him back in. You know, like, okay, you can we can put him back in the mix. Everyone else has had their time to shine for a little bit. You get focus on them for a tad bit. Then we can we can go forward from there. But we're still at this point where the Mishima family story is still, you know. It's almost like it's lingering at this point. You keep coming back. And we probably got like a good conclusion at the end of eight. Nah, we're gonna bring them back. <laughs> we're gonna bring all that right back around again. Like, but I get it. If you love the story, I'm not gonna let me bashing it. But even I see other characters kind of shine a little bit. That's all I'm saying. But you guys may have a different take of the comment down below. So please leave a comment. Let's start a little discussion. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.